Hey there fellow travelers, welcome back to Bon Voyage Cruise Travel, your go-to channel for all things cruise related. So what can you expect when you go to Hawaii? I have just been on a 16 day cruise from San Francisco to Hawaii. I was a little surprised and I've learned some things, so let's explore what you should know before you go. Let's get started. See the pool around me? It's pretty dead today. The weather is not very nice. So today we are looking out the window here at the wine bar. It's located on the fifth floor. It's really a nice spot to be when it's so cold outside and it's one of my favorite spots. So going to Hawaii, I've learned a lot of things. I learned that it starts out a little bit cold and you should bring some type of clothes to make sure that you, you know, feel comfortable on board. It is pretty cold. They do provide blankets and they provide towels so you can sit outside and watch movies. But if you don't like cold weather, dress accordingly. And by day four, you're going to feel much better. The first three days were kind of awful weather, maybe the first four days. But ever since we've been to Hawaii and we're heading back, it has been just gorgeous, perfect weather. So just keep that in mind. Maybe the first four days are kind of inclement, but the rest is just beautiful outside. It is just in its calm seas. It's just gorgeous. And here we are in December, so. It's early December. It's been a, just been a, a, just a great time. It's still not super hot, but once you go to Hawaii and it's so beautiful and the, the climate is so so nice that you might want to just bring a sweater or something. And you'll find that uh, indoors the temperature is pretty nice. It can it can vary around the ship, so a sweater is always good to have or some type of a wrap and jacket or windbreaker is always helpful different kinds of shoes and things like that so bring you know long pants short pants shorts it's a wide variety of clothes to make yourself feel comfortable what do you do when the weather is just not that great i mean it's i'm wearing a turtleneck it's pretty cold outside inclement overcast not kind of what you'd expect on a Hawaiian cruise, but what can you do during the daytime when there's obviously no pool time? This particular ship does not have a solarium that's covered, so you would be outside in the elements with a warm jacket and a maybe a cap or a hat or some kind of a hood, you'd be okay. I mean, they are doing movies by the pool, but there's not a lot of takers at this moment. So what, what can you do? The Hawaii activities, when they announced that in the very, it was around 5.30 on the very first day, and I was doing something and I thought, I don't even know what the Hawaii activities are. That's the lay making. And so if you want to get a lay, and you, they'll give you fresh flowers and you can wear it for dinner. If you want to be in an early group, you should sign up first thing. And it is free of charge. You have a bracelet and necklace um, jewelry making thing that is $25. They have ukulele classes that are first come first serve. They're doing some hula dancing in the main plaza area where they do the Zumba and other dance line dancing and that kind of thing. That's in the main foyer area in the rotunda I guess you want to say. And then they have some other Hawaiian cultural talks and things like that. But they are trying to educate people about Hawaii on this trip so that that's nice but I'm just saying with the Hawaiian activities that's an idea that's something you can do when the weather isn't that great outside. The Princess Patter is online as well as offline and it's in paper format so what I do is I bring a highlighter and I go through and I highlight things that maybe will interest me. There's a lot of trivia going on, there's some talks, enrichment talks, there's some um, um, bingo and that type of thing going on. So I'm going to go out there and see what I can find. So you could watch a movie in the theater. We're on deck seven and it has a great shot of the casino downstairs. That's open. You can also go shopping. There's the stores from all around us here. 
These are always options. Weather is not very nice, but you have to make the most of it. <laughs> and those are the interior things I showed you. The pool is, I guess, technically still open. And there's some hot tubs up above that you can look at. I mean, it's not that cold. It's probably in the 50s, but it's still not the kind of weather you're expecting when you're off to Hawaii. I don't really know how he can be working outside here. It's pretty windy and cold. But I'm gonna take this sea walk I took last night to show you what it looks like in the daytime. set up with the astroturf and all but not a lot of takers today on this royal princess excursion so the sports deck 18 it's walk a mile seven laps inner lane for walkers outer lane for joggers and this is it so that's another thing you can do. Even though it's ugly outside, you still can get some exercise. Deck number 18, there's the jogging track. And also, if you look, there's some pickleball going on. It's a basketball court. And also up above is shuffleboard. This is a driving range. Oh, well, that's fun. So you can pick your clubs here, and then you just do a driving range. I guess it's like a mini golf, but you don't really. Those are your holes there. They offer some clubs, just like that. Here on deck 18, or kind of 19 almost. Again, there's picture with pickleball from a, up above. So I guess the more active people are outside here. So at the very top of 19, I'm looking out to the aft of the ship the wake area and it's funny because lots of times on some ships they'll have a pole out here or they'll be say like on Royal Caribbean they'll be the flow rider it looks like they have the adventure club or whatever their kids club here the driving range and the jogging track so there's not actually a spot to sit out and enjoy this so on an inclement day you can definitely find things to do sports wise have to dress accordingly. So the jogging track is always open. So we're on our way to the wedding chapel. There's a pop choir that performs. They meet up and they sing some lyrics from sheet music and then they perform later on in the ship time. I just went in there and it's kind of intimidating because everybody's sitting there like it's a audition so I'm not gonna do it but it was a good idea um, it's in a different part of the ship it's the wedding chapel but it was pretty nondescript wedding chapel I wouldn't get married there it just looks like a room there's not even a view you can go down to the International Cafe and order a coffee watch or participate in the ring toss Enjoy a cocktail at the Good Spirits Bar while you watch the Hawaiian dancing or even participate in it. It's free of charge. In the Princess Live Studio, they have all kinds of talks. They had an advertising guy, they have music trivia, they have karaoke. It just depends. It's different every hour. 
into the extreme, creating an answer with only using three or four colors. And they said, well, Matisse, now they're speaking French, now they're not speaking French, but they said, Matisse, you paint like a wild beast. The direct translation of wild beast in French is foam. the Vista Lounge. At night, it looks like they have some type of dancing going on here. There is also the spa with the enclave, which you can participate in at a, an additional cost. We have our very nice, amazing hydrotherapy pool. Comes with the jet, oh, wow. your body, okay? Oh, yeah. Helps with the muscle aches and pain. Also, we have a dry sauna over there. Uh -huh. Two types of aromatic steam rooms, four different types of showers, our heated ceramic beds, and the water beds. All right. Wow, that's nice. This is a VIP place. The library is always open. It has card games and other kinds of games you can use and also has a variety of books to borrow. You know, I've always been kind of not really thinking it's worth it to get a balcony sometimes when you can just walk around the ship or sit, sit in the lounge chair and just enjoy all the people. But on this particular ship, I actually really like to have a balcony because there really isn't anywhere you can sit in a lounge and just relax. It's all mainly chairs where there's bars or overstuffed couches, that kind of thing. But outside, it is too cold to really sit in it in a chair, but in your own balcony, it's fine because you can just put a blanket over you or something. But um, so it's interesting. So for this particular trip, I don't mind coming to my room and enjoying the view from where I am, which is different for me. I do miss, I have to say, one, I think, downfall is the fact they have an adult-only retreat area and it's really nice but it is lacking in that it doesn't have an enclosed glass overhead so it's just you're you're just in the elements like being outside and that is kind of a problem when you're on an itinerary like this so there's no you can't go to the solarium and just have the nice humidity and lay in a lounge chair and enjoy that it's not it's not available so keep that in mind you know, your shift selection is important sometimes about where you want to um, position yourself during your cruise. I mean, there's definitely a lot of food on board, there's lots of drinks on board, there's coffee, there's lots of socializing going on, and there are crafts and things like that. But if you just want to lay in a chair in a humid climate and just enjoy, um, it's not available here. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Also, the Enclave, which is in the spa, it's a very nice facility. It, it has the hydro water, and I believe I, I kind of covered that. You can see that that's a very nice thing to do. It is a $49 a day package, or you can buy, I think the week was two something. I think she said $299 or $249, something like that. But I, I, I foresee, I mean, I don't know, but people seem to really like that because it has heated chairs, the ceramic heated chairs, it's got a water bed, lounger, and then the hydro uh, pools look really inviting. It is in a very dark environment, uh, but I foresee it being crowded somehow. If everybody goes for that because they want to be warm, and it has the saunas in there and the rain showers, so that I think could be popular on this trip. Their, their spa seems to be a very big deal on this ship because it's super large and they people are using it. I have noticed that so that's one thing to keep in mind. The spa option I guess if you want to do that. So as you can see there are quite a lot of activities to do on board even if the weather isn't that great. There's a lot of really interesting
interesting things. I, I was surprised how much Hawaiian culture and things on board, there, there was a lot of uh, crafts you could do and there were some uh, dances you can learn and ukuleles. Some people brought their own ukuleles on board. There was a choir, so all kinds of things, really good music. And I nice, saw uh, Hawaiian ambassadors, they got on in Honolulu just taught all kinds of things and he's a real good ukulele player so it, it was fun in that respect it was different than other cruises because we are you know going to Hawaii so there was the mixing of the drinks all kinds of games and really I didn't even see everything because I took a shower and I missed a, a few things so there were some talks on volcanic activity and just a lot of um, games and things like that that are going on like continuously and of course the night is pretty much what you'd expect it's a lot of trivia live music there's just a Spanish guitar player and a violinist and then we had an actual band down there and then there's um, a vocal performance tonight so you know lots of good things happening around the ship and it's been really fun and honestly the days just sped by i mean i'm getting ready for dinner right now but i just wanted to say that you know don't be afraid to come on a cruise like this just because it's not going to be 100 percent hot like the caribbean every day i could tell that a lot of people that do this have done this before there's a lot of groups a lot of uh, people that really enjoy this from the San Francisco area. So that was nice to see that. It's just something to be aware of that you need to dress appropriately and accordingly. And it will get warmer as, as you get closer to Hawaii. But just keep that in mind. So thank you so much for watching. And if you found this helpful, if this has been entertaining or you've learned something, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time.